Fox's Peter Ducey mm -hmm. asked White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre about Biden's trip to the southern border. Watch the response. Why didn't President Biden want to see what's really going on at the border? He did see exactly what's going on at the border. He didn't talk to any migrants, and he didn't go anywhere that people actually cross illegally. Why not? But he also, but he met, uh, he went to the, mig the Migrant Center, which was a, a critical, pl critical place to be when you think about the partners uh, who, who are uh, our partners who are helping uh, support uh, the migrants on the ground there. Uh, there happened to be no migrants at the facility at the time that he visited. Mm -hmm. All right. The gentleman on the right-hand side of the screen is well known to our viewers. He is Congressman Chip Roy, a Republican from the great state of Texas. Congressman, I honestly don't get it. We're in the middle of a real crisis. We've been in this crisis for at least a year and a half, and nothing ever gets done. Nothing happens. Why not? Well, good morning, Stuart. Uh, it's nice that the president's handlers uh, finally found the southern border on a map, told the president that he needed to go down there and check a box, uh, basically through a fraudulent propaganda effort to clean everything out and say there's no migrants at the migrant center. Meanwhile, he meets with the president of Mexico. And what do they do? They put out a North America agreement on diver diversity, equity, inclusion, and climate change, but don't really get anywhere with respect to what we need to do to stop the crisis at the border. Then you got the United Nations, which I don't know why we give them $7 billion to uh, tell us what we need to do about human rights, because that does nothing for the 53 people who died in a tractor trailer in San Antonio, which I represent. The migrants who are dying, the thousands who died along the border, who've died on the Rio Grande, who are sold in the, the tens of thousands sold into the sex trafficking trade. What we have is a White House who is actually engaged in and perpetuating the greatest human rights crisis that we've seen in years in the United States of America, where people are dying, including Americans from fentanyl. We need to do something about it. So I introduced H.R. 29, uh, the Border Safety and Security Act. I hope we'll move on it the week after recess. It would require that we detain fully or turn away uh, at the border, which is basically consistent with our existing law, but we try to force this administration to do what they're supposed to do to fix the problem. It would stop the flow. We would still be able to deal with asylum claims, but you got to detain or turn away, and that's what we need to do. I hope it makes progress, Congressman. And I, I, may I just change the subject for a moment? This is very sure, much sir. a financial program. And as I understand it, you want to ban members of Congress from trading stocks. You have a proposal for that. Do you want to ban all trading completely? No, I think we need to have the conversation. In, in 2020, Abigail Spanberger, a Democrat from Virginia, and I introduced legislation because I think we need to recognize the American people are tired of seeing members of Congress uh, making pretty significant profits while they're voting on the very policies that affect the corporations that they're meeting with on a regular basis. I think we can find a way to have members not have to get in a worse position, get here, put their uh, money into broadly traded funds, uh, maybe a blind trust, although those are complex. We need to work through it. Maybe we only eliminate the buy side, right, and then make the sell side transparent. But at the, at the end of the day, we need to do something to stop that breach of trust that is uh, apparent to the American people that we seem to be day trading while we're supposed to be doing the work of the American people. Now, it's a, it's a bipartisan approach you're taking here. You, th you really think you can get something done with this? I think there will be some changes. I mean, look, yeah. I don't know if it'll be the exact language that Abigail and I introduced, but we're having conversations on, on my side of the aisle. We're, we're talking about what we need to do. Uh, it's important the American people trust that we're making good decisions for them sure. and not just for ourselves. That's one item where you can get a bipartisan agreement, one of very few, I suspect. Uh, Congressman, great to have you with us on the show this morning. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning, Stuart. Take care. Yes, sir.